All right, Virgo, let's get into it. Let's clear you people. That was my selenite wand, just in case you're wondering what the hell that was. All right, Virgo, what is going on for you this time around? What's going on? What's going on with Virgo? Uh, what's going on with Virgo? Today it is the 28th of September, and let's see what is going on for Virgo for this entering into Libra season. Uh, you're finishing a cycle, Virgo. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You're leveling up. However, however, as you're going to be leveling up, there is some type of confusion. There is a decision you need to make between two people, two things, two cars, two pairs of shoes, <laughs> two places you might need to live. Maybe some Virgos are moving and some Virgos are trying to see if they should stay where they are. Let's just clarify that. What is the decision? Ah, okay. The decision is to revisit a crime scene. So if there was a crime committed against a Virgo, there's a Virgo out there that is revisiting the crime scene or thinking about revisiting the crime scene. When I say revisiting, I mean, Virgo, you might want to go back into <laughs> that crime scene that happened to you, okay? So I can't tell you what to do. It's your journey, but that's what's going on, okay? Um, you, you are revisiting the fact that should you be stuck in your head like you were before, should you lose all your money messing with this person again? Should you deal with the three, the third party situation with this person? Or should you heal? Mm. Well, this is what's going to help you level up, Virgo. You're going to have to decide if you want to take two steps backwards or you want to take two steps forwards. I personally am the type of person who says live and let live. So I'm going to let you live, Virgo. I am not going to tell you what to do. I think you are smart enough to make your own decision. Even though the truth is unclear for you right now, you're a little off in the sense where you're emotionally cold, okay? Yeah, you're emotionally cold, but you feel stuck because of this reason. I feel that the reason why you're behaving the way you are and you're being so cold-hearted and ice cold and I got an ice box where my heart used to be, it's because of this individual or this situation that you want to revisit again. Why? It's gonna only gonna, you know what this, what it's gonna do? It's gonna lower your self esteem. It's gonna make you think that you are not good enough, like you did last time when you were trying to get out of the situation. And as I'm saying that, I'm throwing out an Ace of Pentacles. This is telling me that you need to move forward and you need to start, you know, manifesting good things into your life. Or if you're that Virgo that manifested good things in your life, your seeds are sprouting right now. Okay, they're coming. You just got to move yourself out of this stuck energy. What is the stuck energy? That beginning that you had with a Leo or a fire sign or that beginning that you want with a certain individual. You're going to have to let it go because that's what you're stuck on. And in order to level up and move forward and actually um, live by the wheel of fortune, you know what I mean? Like have the cycle broken, have the cycle closed. You got to move on. You got to take the journey, okay? But I feel like going towards Libra season, this is what you're basically going to be trying to decide to do. Now, I could peep in and see what is it that you decide to do. Some Virgos are going to move forward. Some Virgos are going to get their heart broken again. Again, guys, this is your journey. This is your life. You need to listen to your intuition, okay? You can drive the horse to the, you can drag the horse to the water, but you can't make a drink, Virgo. I can't make you do anything. All I can tell you is that whatever you want to restart again, it killed you last time. You want to die again? Go for it. Have fun. I mean, there are a lot of secrets that are coming out. You're finding out a lot of things. But this is going to end up really harming you. The best thing to do is move forward and be selfish. Selfish in the sense where you you take care of yourself. You put yourself first. It doesn't matter how long you had with this person. It doesn't matter what you spent on this person. It's time to move on. Okay? But what I see happening here is going forward into this Libra season that this person or you are going to be going back. So all I just said all of that to just waste energy. Ah, let's take a deep breath. So as I've wasted my energy and told you not to go back, guess what someone's doing? You're going back to try to work this relationship out. With the devil. Okay. <laughs> all right, Virgo. So I see you in the, in the going towards Libra season Going back and doing this relationship shit again with this devil person. Have fun, Virgo. Have fun. This person is not going to offer you much. Probably a cup of coffee compared to a whole cola. A whole glass of cola. You know what I mean? A nice refreshing glass of cola. You're going to get three-day-old coffee. But, okay, that's what you want. 
Spirit is telling you to manifest. Right now is the time to manifest because you are growing. Hence why these things are happening to you because they're actually, in a sense, you're being tested. Like, do you want to go back to where you were or do you want to level up? Again, you keep hearing me say this. But according to the cards, it looks like you are going to be... There's, there's a certain part of Virgos that are going to go back into the situation because there's something that you still need to learn or that I don't understand what you're not learning out of the situation. You've done it so many times. But there's some Virgos that are moving forward. You're putting distance between you and this happiness that, that happened in your life, okay? There is going to be someone coming in to offer you a small uh, friendship, uh, Virgo. Could be someone offering you roses, a message, a picnic, a dinner, something like that, okay? It could be... Someone that you think is your knight in shining armor. Be careful. Be careful. Take it slow. Make sure that this person is not a control freak. Because if it is, you need to run. You need to run the other way. Because that is the biggest hint that spirit is saying. If this person is controlling. Or that past person was controlling. You need to move forward. Okay? Because you have this hope inside of you. This expect expectancy inside of you. That you, you know, you want your life a certain way. And it can happen. You just gotta get rid of the blocks, okay? Gotta rid of, gotta get rid of the blockages. That's the only way you're gonna be able to move forward. All right, you are protected. Spirit is protecting you, but spirit can't help it if you keep involving yourself in the stuff that they're trying to move you away from. Okay, there is someone coming in for you. There is marriage coming in for you, but it may be with someone who is younger than you, more uh, a little more lighthearted. But again, see, see what I mean? If you keep, if you make the decision to go back into that betrayal or whatever that crime scene was, you're not going to be able to move forward to this marriage, this happy life. For those of you Virgos that are done with the crime scene and you're wrapping it up, right? You're closing the file and you're basically uh, tagging onto it a cold case. That's it. It's done. You will be moving on to the marriage. You will be moving on to the happiness, the whole, oh, you know, the justice basically collaborating with people working with people making money coming out of your shell moving away from this cancer this fire sign that was just really ridiculous really narcissistic you can start daydreaming again but it's up to you up to you to decide all right whether you want to go forwards or you want to go backwards either way you have to finish the cycle and the cycle is going to finish with or without you okay when i say with or without you in a sense where this cycle is going to finish whether you like it or not, because if you don't learn from this situation, there are going to be many situations that are going to appear into your life that are going to mirror the situation, meaning you're going to go through it again. So if you want to go through it again, have fun. But as far as I'm looking at the cards, I think it's better for you to move on because you have marriage, you have family, you have money waiting for you on the other side. Soon as you're done with this bullshit ass situation that you're in. Okay, I love you guys. I know that was short, but there's really not much Virgo really needs to know. It's just two things. You either stay or you go. If you stay, same thing's going to happen again. If you move forward and you go and you, and you keep yourself open and you keep yourself optimistic, there comes marriage, there comes baby, there comes you in a baby carriage, okay? But again, at the end of the day, I love you guys. It's up to you to decide. Take care and I'll see you on the other side.